biggest relief for me as a writer is when someone comes up and says that they enjoyed the book because that's like, okay, it worked. Because the whole point was for you to see, I already had it in my head. So the whole point was for someone else to have fun with it. Getting what's in your head onto the page into someone else's head is uh, sometimes not an easy thing. We're gonna try to show you guys a little bit about how we actually create the worlds we play in. So we're just gonna mess around. We're gonna merge the way we help build a world and you guys are gonna help us make up a world, okay? It can be anything. This is the power of imagination. Even bad drawing Brandon Mole can make a shape on a big white thingy. What we have here is a rough map. I think the next thing we need to do is get some inhabitants for this land. Dwarf, yes. Dwarf pirates. <laughs> See, now you're in business. Dwarf pirates. Dwarf pirates. So, th so these guys live on Dwarf Pirate Island, right? There's, a, there's an island with zonkeys, <laughs> which is guarded by kelpies. Sure, that's the and, treasure, right? And, and yeah. here, 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 we'll, we'll, put a, we'll put a river here. So, so when you have a basic world like this, you know, you can keep asking questions like, where do the supplies come from? The thing is, is, this is exactly how we create our stories, by asking questions and throwing out silly ideas sometimes. Anymore. Right here, we've just created a, a, the outlines for a story that's never been told before. Yes. Guys, we want to talk about some, some nerd stuff. Um, <laughs> Yeah. Well, we want, to, we want to try, at least. I like dragons for the same reason like, I like dinosaurs and stuff. They're big and they've got scales and long teeth. And uh, unlike dinosaurs, dragons can breathe fire and they can talk oftentimes. And they're just really, really cool. What I was trying to do in my Dragon Sanctuary book was I wanted to see a variety of dragons. I wanted to see dragons like, um, like there's a variety of flowers, or like there's a variety of insects. I wanted to see different types, stuff we hadn't seen before. I wanted my dragons, in my book, none of them were nice. There was, there was only one nice dragon, and every, all the other dragons in the book would just totally eat you, and not if you tried to ride them, you would be food. This was really nice. You guys were an amazing audience. Yes, thank you for thank your you. time. Thank you. Thanks for coming.